Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my college updates to the schools that I applied to, the schools that I got rejected from, uh, the schools that I kind of stopped like applying to, like in the midst of applying and stuff, I stopped, and like the school that hasn't still given me my decisions, and then like some schools gave me like conditional decisions, which is like if you can't pay, we want you, but like if you can't pay, we can't accept you and then we have my acceptances so let's get right into it okay guys first i got a scholarship of one million ninety seven thousand two hundred so yeah overall from all the schools that i applied to that i got like acceptance from that gave me scholarship okay so first we're going to start with um the schools i got rejected from so first i got rejected from Berea college so that college is kind of like a free college that i really wanted to get into but yeah, they're gonna uh, That's so sad. Then Charles Charlton College. That is in Canada. I got rejected from that. Then Colby College, which is in Maine. Yeah, I got rejected. The um, College of Worcester is in Ohio. I also got rejected. Columbia University, New York. I got rejected. Denison, which is in Ohio, I got rejected. Thurman University, South Korea. South Korea. South Carolina. Um, Hamsia College, Massachusetts, Berlin College of Arts and Sciences, Ohio. Yeah, this these schools are just head to my heart right now. Union College, New York, got rejected. I really wanted to go to that school actually. Um, Gettysburg College, Pennsylvania, got rejected. Um, Greenell College, Iowa. Reed College, or Oregon, and then Colgate University, New York. Okay, so now we're going to get to the schools that I kind of like stopped applying to after I made a decision to go to my current school. So, um, we're going to first we have Albright College, which is in Pennsylvania, Frankfurt, which is in also in Germany, uh, and then SRH Valley University of Applied Sciences. Sciences, I did it, I stopped. Uh, Grand Canyon University, Alma College, Michigan. Lambda University, South Carolina, Lynn University, Florida, Southwestern University, Texas, Texas, Lutheran University, Texas, the Masters University, California. I also really wanted to go to that school too. Um, Case Western Reserve University, St. John's College. So, all those schools, I stopped my application process. Um, next, the schools that, uh, that uh, I'm still waiting for a decision from. Uh, Presbyterian College and then Southern Wesleyan University. I'm not sure that this is that ever going to come out, so I'm going to take it that I got rejected or something. But I mean, classes are literally starting for like an American school, so I'm like, I mean, this is not going to happen. And then I have uh, one school that I actually couldn't log in. My, they told me like my decision is in. I couldn't log in, I competed with them and everything like that, but it still wasn't working, so. Yeah, that's cool. That is University of the Internet where that's also in Texas. So yeah, that's a look back. I think I applied to a lot of schools in Texas actually. Yeah, and then now I have these three schools that like the decision was conditional. So as I said before, like if the finances didn't match, I wouldn't be able to attend. So we have Illinois Wesley University, RIT. Alright, I got so obsessed with that school, RIT. I really wanted to attend, but yeah, the finances like the school is so expensive to attend, guys. Like, oh, mm -hmm. so I couldn't. And then Rollins College of Liberal Arts, which is in Florida. Um, yeah, so that's all for their like mm -mm schools. Now we're going to go into my acceptance. So I will tell you the school that I got to and then how much scholarship they gave me. So first, I'm going to go into University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. So I got accepted back for that school. They don't give scholarship to international students. So yeah, that's just that. Yeah. Then I have Florida Institute of Technology. That was like my first um, acceptance when I started my application process. I was so happy because I thought the money was so big. So they gave me ten thousand dollars per year for the four years. But I just had to keep up my GPA of two point six, like a GPA of two point six plus the school. But I was so excited. I was like, oh my god, like ten thousand. Like who gives money out like that? And then I go, I go and check like the the cost of attendance, and I'm like, this is nothing. Like this is actually nothing. 
So then, but I was still so happy that like a school accepted me because I think I had this impression after that no school accepted me. So yeah, and then next we have sitting hall. Um, it's, they gave me a scholarship of twenty four thousand per year. And then the summer they also gave me like a scholarship or stuff like that. And then we also have Xavier University. Uh, they gave me twenty five thousand per year, and then books were also paid for. That was that was nice. All these schools, I was heavily contemplating all these schools, like, serious. Then, Queen Park University, guys, when I tell you how obsessed I got with this school, you, you, don't, you don't understand. I was watching vlogs of people in the school, I was just up somewhere on social media, like, dude, I was just everywhere with this school because I really wanted to attend this school. I just like that computer science course, and well, like, the stuff they offered me, even in their computer science course. So, I was just, I was just so obsessed with this school, like, crazy. So they gave me a scholarship of 25,000 for four years and I just had to give a GP of 2.5 plus. Next you have Anna Maria. So that school, um, I couldn't get, they didn't, they don't have computer science, so I went with um, a business course. This was, this course kind of like a safety net school in terms of like, if all my computer science schools don't work, I would do this. And I got something that I got a scholarship of 26,000. Yeah, but that school was relatively cheaper than all the other schools that I applied to, but it was it just I just didn't want to go because I'm finding what to do, which is business. But. Next we have University of San Francisco. So that that's you gave me a scholarship of twenty nine thousand for four years. That I think is the highest um scholarship a school gave me probably but I'm not too sure. Let's keep going and see, but like I also really wanted to attend so this school was also really great. Uh, next Construction University, which is the school I'll be attending, um, they gave me a scholarship of 8,000 um, euro, that's in euro, and then a deferral of 9,000. So, I think their overall cost of attendance is 28 or 29,000 euro, the like cost of attendance for everything. So, as you can see, it was relatively lower. Um, next, you have Hotel University, so that school, there's something about the acceptance was like actually conditional in the sense that I had to pay, I had to have money available. Like their cost of attendance is twenty eight thousand six hundred or five hundred, and they give a maximum scholarship of like eight thousand. So I had to prove that I can pay the twenty twenty thousand five hundred or six hundred and before I can officialize like my acceptance. Yeah. So. That felt good. I really was excited about that school too, like stalking everything about the school. Like <laughs> next we have Wurzburg. I don't know if it's a college or university, I didn't write that. Um so I got something I got to, oh yeah, so that was actually the highest. I got a scratch of forty thousand. Forty thousand dollars for like I think per year. And then I if I work at the school I can get two thousand five hundred per month, like I think per semester actually. So that, that I was still really thinking about that school, but then the cost of attendance was crazy. So, so. Next, we have Michigan Technological University. So they give me a scholarship of 14300 uh, I think that was the lowest, actually. Okay, no, actually. But yeah. Next, we have M, uh, New York Institute of Technology. Um, I got a scholarship of 26000 My academic achievements. Yeah, so that, that was the next. And then you have Bela University. Bela College or Bela University. I'm not sure, guys. Um, I got a scholarship of 27000 for four years. Next, Hofstra University. I got a scholarship of 28000 per year. So those are all for like, my sentences and everything like that. Um, one thing I'll say is um, I really put a lot of effort into my applications because, like, and I'm grateful to be like that I got the opportunity to do a lot of extra curriculum. So I did fashion design in 10th grade. I did piano for about a year and a half or two. Um, I played tennis. Like I'm not like tennis tennis, like if, yeah, what's it called? Pro, but like it's a, it's a sport that I play, so it's kinda of like extra curriculum. I was also part of the NHS society of my school. It's right, <laughs> that's not on a society of my school. Um, I was also like part of like a group that helped our school like test products. So like I was pretty like I had a lot of extra curriculums going on. So it kind of 
So maybe I'll pass my list. That's what I think would have given me like this number of acceptance. So guys, that's all for this video. I hope this video gave you some ideas of schools to apply to. So basically, almost all these schools don't take application fee, and the ones that do, the reason why I might have a, um, I might have applied was because they either gave me like they gave me the opportunity to apply for free. Like they even leave me and telling me to apply or uh, I found a way that they allowed for me to get a waiver. So just keep all these things in mind. And I wish you guys like in applying to schools and everything like that. And I also hope you guys enjoy like this new space. Like it's not all that aesthetically right now, but like I want just to change it up. So hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.